Welcome everybody to the channel, my name is Snipe you First, and in this video we are going to be installing 5M. We're also going to be installing a graphics mod folder that's going to make your visuals look a lot better. We're also going to have a siren packet so that the police and EMS sound really cool. Now be sure, the lower right hand corner of your screen you're going to see a little YouTube subscribe button. Hit that so that you be notified every time I drop a new video. Be sure to check out all my other videos. I have 5M server reviews as well as a TeamSpeak install where you have mic clicks and radio effects. Hit the thumbs up, send a comment down below, and as always, thank you for watching this video. Alright, so all links will be down below in the video description. The first one is going to be where it takes you to WinRAR. Now WinRAR is important because it's a file extractor. If you have something like this or a 7-zip, then you can skip past this. But you're going to need a WinRAR. So it's going to look like this. You're going to go to WinRAR, download WinRAR, and then download WinRAR right here. And it's going to pop up in the lower left hand corner. You're going to click on that. Click yes and install. Click OK and done. Now you can exit out of WinRAR. So the web browser that I'm using is called Google Chrome. You may be on a different web browser, Internet Explorer, Firefox or something like that, but I'm using Google Chrome. So if you want your screen to look identical to mine, download the Google Chrome app. So the next thing we're going to do is install 5M. It's going to take you to this page right here. 5M. It's going to say download client. You're going to click on that. It's going to ask you to read through the service agreement and at the lower right hand corner it's going to say sure I agree. Click on that. Then in the lower left hand corner you're going to see the 5M.exe. You're going to click on that and it's going to update 5M. Now after this part, it's going to want to know where your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder is. So it's going to be in your Steam folder. So you got to make sure you know where your Steam folder is and where your GTA 5 folder is. So for me, I go to this PC. Yours may be under local disk C, but mine is under game drive D. You just want to find your Steam folder. So click on Steam. Then go to Steam Apps. Common. And then just click one time on Grand Theft Auto 5. You just want to highlight it. With it highlighted, click Select Folder. Now it's going to update the game cache. Click Yes. And after this, you may or may not get an error. If you do, just click OK and wait for the game to open. So I got the error. I'm going to click OK. And now we can minimize the web browser. Because with that minimized, we're going to see the 5M folder open. So once 5M has opened, the first thing is you want to go up to your settings wheel in the top right hand corner. Click on the settings. And you're going to want to link your Steam account and your Discord account. After those have been linked, you can exit to the desktop. At this point, you're ready to hop in the game and play 5M. But for those of you who want better visual graphics and police sirens, you're going to want to see the next few steps. Now in the description down below, we're going to have a Google Drive folder where you're going to find visuals for 5M. It's going to look like this. Now what you want to do, if you don't want the modern siren pack, you don't have to click this. But if you want the, the visual packet, you're going to right click citizen and left click on download. You're going to get something to the bottom right that says preparing download. Now this may take up to five minutes, so just be patient, but once it is done, it's going to show up in the lower left hand corner. Same thing with the modern siren pack. 
you would right click on it and then left click on download and it'll also prepare that one and once it's done preparing it's going to start the download to the left hand corner of your screen okay so i already have these files downloaded on my pc but what you're going to end up doing is you're going to left click on the file and drag it onto your desktop for both of them that you downloaded now what we want is we want this folder right here on our desktop we want citizen so if you have to go into say your your winrar folder it might look like this you double click it click on the x and then this citizen folder right here you're going to want to drag that onto your desktop and it's going to look something like this right here okay so now we need to get to our 5m application data so on our desktop we have the 5m app icon it's going to be a orange square with an upside down v now if you don't have this on your desktop you're going to have to search where your 5m application data is so what you can do is go down to the search here and just type in 5m and then click on the 5m and go into your application data so for those of us that have the the icon on the screen we're going to right click open file location and right here it says 5m application data you double click on that now where it says citizen you're going to want to highlight it by clicking it once with the left mouse button and then we're going to delete it by right clicking and then delete so we don't want that citizen in here we want to delete the citizen file now the citizen file that you extracted to your to your desktop this file right here we want to drag it into your 5m application data and that's it we have the citizen folder in here that's what we want okay so now we're done with that if you open up the citizen you got all these files in there that's exactly what we want so we can exit out of that now for the modern siren pack i'm gonna have a link for a youtube video that goes through all the different sirens there may be a couple extra sirens that are not in this YouTube video, but you're gonna wanna watch it and pick out a siren that you like the best. So here's that video. Now it's gonna start off with the default GTA siren sound. Okay, and if you see the red bar, there's gonna be other square bars right down here. And that's going to be all the different siren sounds. So if we go to this bar right here, this is the Wheelin 295. The next bar is going to be another Wheelin 295. The one I use is right here. It's called the Sencom Gold. It's uh, it starts at two minutes and fifty nine seconds. And this is what I use. So you're going to remember which siren you like the best. So I'm going to remember Whelan Sencom Gold. So now back, back to our Google Drive folder where the modern siren pack was. It should be done downloaded in the lower left hand corner. And you're going to just drag it off to your desktop. If you've already done that, fine. Don't worry about it. But you need your modern siren pack to show up on your desktop. It's going to look something like this. You double click on that. WinRAR might pop up, just close that. And then you're gonna double click on the modern siren pack, 5M. Now in here is gonna be the different types of sirens. There's code three, federal signal, and wheel in engineering. Each one of these is gonna have different types of sirens for each brand. So for instance, I want the wheel in Sencom Gold. I'm gonna click on wheel in engineering. 
And then I'm going to look for the CENTCOM gold. I'm going to expand this a little bit. And here's the Wheeland CENTCOM gold. Now it says updated. So that means there might be extra files in there. I'm going to double click that. And either I can have the one that's 25% louder or just the normal one. Me, I want the 25% louder, so I'm going to double click on 25% louder. And I'm going to use this resident.rpf. You're just going to leave this up like that. Okay, we got to get to our GTA folder. So wherever you installed your GTA 5, not your 5M, but your GTA 5, we got to find that game folder. Okay, so I'm going to go to this PC, game drive D. It's the exact same way how we installed the 5M. It needed to know where the Grand Theft Auto 5 was installed. So I'm going to go to Game Drive D, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Grand Theft Auto. This time I'm going to double click on Grand Theft Auto, open it up. Now we're looking for X X64. Now we're going to click on audio. Now SFX. And in here is where we want to drag that resident.rpf folder. So here we're going to drag the resident RPF right into here. And it's going to give you a pop-up that says replace the file in the destination. You're going to click that. And that's it. We can exit out of that and out of there. Now we're going to launch 5M. You may need to update. So if you open 5M and it shuts down right away, just, just click on it again because it might need to update. Now to play 5M, you're going to need to find a good server to go to. There's several servers that I enjoy going to. Um, one of them being First Response Gaming. Another one is 5PDRP. And another one is Bay Area RP. So whatever server you want to go to, you got to click play. Okay, so you got to search for whatever server you want, and I'm going to I'm going to type in first response gaming. All right, so here we have first response gaming. Now if you like a server and it's really cool, over here there's a star button. If you click that star, it's going to show up under your favorites right up here. So I highly recommend uh you guys you know using that star feature and put it to your favorites so i'm going to click on that then click on connect now whenever you join a 5m server before you open up your 5m you're gonna need to have your steam open so make sure steam is open and also make sure to have discord open because a lot of these servers require you to join their discord and a lot of the times the discord will be on this this first screen that you click on for a server but it's super important that before you you start 5m that you have steam running in the background all right here we go so the first time you get into 5m it's going to take a while for for all the game stuff to update and for the graphics to load in and all of the the resources so make sure you just give it a couple minutes to do its thing and uh shouldn't take that long afterwards to uh, get all set up but now i'm gonna go through my settings for in game so that you guys can see how my settings are so i'm gonna hit escape okay go to settings I'm gonna go to graphics now i use direct x version 10 I think it makes the game uh, load much easier and it's less uh, it's less on your computer system. So now I have FXAA on, VSync off. Now if you have an NVIDIA GeForce graphics card, you're going to want to have this turned off. If you have an AMD graphics card, you're going to want this on. I'm working with the 1080 Ti graphics card from nvidia okay so now i'm scrolling down population density is all the way down population variety all the way down distance scaling all the way up texture quality normal shader quality very high shadow quality very high reflection quality very high reflection msaa is off water quality very high 
Particles quality very high. Soft shadows sharp. Post effects very high. Motion blur all the way down. Initio tropic filtering off. Ambient occlusion high. And then for advanced graphics, long shadows off, high resolution shadows off. Everything basically is off. So I'm gonna exit out of that, load in a cop car and let you uh, check out the, the Sencom gold sound, okay? So here's how your police lights will look. Nice and bright. The graphics look amazing. And the sirens. And there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and comment and tell me what, what your thoughts are on this uh, tutorial. I hope it helped you out. As always, I'm Snipey First, and we'll see you on the next video.